Hi Excellers, welcome to another how to excel at excel.com video tutorial. Today we're going to look at why is my pivot table counting and not summing? So let's get started. Today we're going to look at something that I get asked quite a lot about in Excel. Why is my pivot table defaulting to count my values rather than sum? So I've got a really small data set here. Let's just go ahead and quickly create a pivot and see what Excel does by default. Hit Control A, insert pivot table. Let's just pop it on the existing worksheet. And let's look at date and quantity. We can see there when I've dragged in the quantity into the values area. Excel has defaulted this to count. It's counted the number of records rather than summing the quantity, which is what we wanted. So if we go back and have a look at the data here, this is really easy because we've got a small data set. We do have some blanks in there. So this is the first reason that Excel will default to count, that you possibly have blanks in your data set. So we've got a really small data set here, so I could go ahead and just type zero into the three cells we're missing. But if you have a huge data set, there's a really quick way to replace all these blank numbers. Select your data set, hit F5, and in the go to box, hit special and blanks and OK. So we can go ahead and type zero, then hit control and enter, and all of our blank cells will be replaced with zeros. Let's go ahead and create our pivot again. Just pop it on the existing worksheet. And then to select date and quantity. And there we have it. Excel has defaulted that to sum of quantity, which is usually what we want to look at with quantity. My Excel might default to sum your pivot table is that there might be a small piece of text where there should be a numeric reference. It's really obvious in this example because we have the at sign. You could easily find any text that's sitting in the place of numbers. All we need to do is select our data area. Now we don't want to select product ref because this does contain text, which is okay. So if we hit F5 and go to special, and this time we select constants and we want to select text, hit okay. We found the text. We can easily go ahead and replace that with zero. And if we had more than one, we would just hit Control and Enter and replace it. So as we've seen, there's a couple of reasons that Excel would default your pivot table to count. It could, your data set could contain text or it could contain blank cells. We can rectify this by using the Control and A to select your data area, hitting F5 finding all the blank cells and the text cells and replacing them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment and I'll see you for another How to Excel at Excel video tutorial.